I have a son that I used to be very concerned about. He drank way too much um, beer and smoked way too much pot, and I would just tell him that, well, you, know, you really just need to center yourself and meditate. Well, now he's a yogi and he lives on an ashram, and I think I pray too hard for him. <laughs> really guilty that I never put my kids in music lessons and so I have twins one's an opera singer the other's a heavy metal singer I don't know it's just anyway so now my son who I was so worried about who's amazing and is 27 is going in two days starting a month a full a, a retreat on his land which is like a garlic farm and an ashram in Lumbee for a, a month retreat of silence I thought you know you could you know you could just do it a week. No, what's a, what's four weeks, Mom, in terms of a whole year? I'm like, oh, God, I hate when you guys are all right. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to read this for him because I was talking to him yesterday um, on Skype about the fruitful dark, which to me is really important because I feel that darkness is actually a, a, a really incredible place of fruit. And um, I kept thinking I might leave the darkness one day, but I basically see that I just go in and out of it all the time. I think it's a lifelong... So I write these things called body songs, and um, I'm slowly compiling them with my cousin um, who does the paintings with them. And this body song is called Body Song for the Fruitful Dark. Hey, by the way, you know, I often think we write out of absence than presence, and we write because we need to remind ourselves what they come to us. These, these body songs come to me more like sneezes. They're like sneezes or ad orgasms. They just come, you know. Okay, um, body song for the fruitful dark. Dare to live in the fruitful dark where what you know as wisdom and truth is still entering your bones, seeping into your pores. But monkey mind prevents the deep release to accept what is. The fruitful dark knows no time, schedules, has its own winter, whether where the riotous roots of joy are being steeped underground, hibernating in the folds of your body. You are more afraid of your projections than what is truly real. Feel each inch of sorrow. Make friends with broken dreams and wait for the larger dream, for your soul's purpose, to be brought forth. Darkness and light are lovers. Companions for the journey, become intimate with the night and know your only task is to stay with and abide in the fruitful dark.